guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all had a great Thanksgiving. I took the whole Thanksgiving break off. I didn't have to work and so I decided that I would kind of do a hiatus on filming videos. I did get a couple blog posts up to let you guys know about Cyber Monday and Black Friday deals. Uh, but I thought what better way to bring back the videos than starting with a November Favorites. I love filming favorites. I know you guys like the favorites. Those seem to be generally my most viewed videos, so I feel like you guys like them. Could be wrong, but I feel like you do. So yeah, I don't actually have a ton of favorites like I normally do, so this should be a fairly short video. And if you guys want to see what products made it into my top list, then just keep on watching. So the first two products have been lifesavers throughout the month of November. My skin literally took a downward hill plunge, and it has been so dry, so dry that I wore my Bare Minerals Original Foundation one time this past month, and I mean, I looked like a crepey, disgusting corpse, pretty much. Like, my face was just so dry, so cracked, and anyone who has severely dry skin, you guys understand. It just, it feels terrible to even put anything on your face because you know your skin is so textured, and it's going to show up, and it's just going to look awful. So, a lot of the time throughout the month, if I wasn't filming or if I didn't have to work, I didn't even wear makeup. And then when I went back home for Thanksgiving, being around my dog, since I am allergic to most animals, made my skin even worse. So, on top of having really dry skin, I also got little bubs on my face. So, I'm still dealing with that right now, and pretty much the only things that have been keeping me going have been my Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue and my Eucerin Aquaphor. So Aquaphor I've talked about in several videos. I've used this or my mom has used this on me ever since I was a baby. I was born with a, a slight type of eczema and this has just always been the only thing that works on my skin. It's basically just a uh, like petroleum gel or petroleum jelly. It's a very thick ointment and I actually use this underneath my makeup. Like, if you can believe, that is how dry my skin is. And you cannot detect this because my skin literally just absorbs it. So what I've been doing is layering a thin uh, layer of this product over my dry areas. And then I've just been using my Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue, which is what I have on right now with another product I will be talking about. Um, but I seriously don't know how I would have made it through the month without this because it's the only thing that feels good on my skin. When I put it on, it doesn't enhance the dry areas. It actually helps to hydrate my skin and it looks the best. I mean, nothing else that I've used throughout the month has looked as good as this. And if you have dry skin, I mean, I'm talking really, really dry. Like you have to be like flakeness dry. This is a really great combo. So the product I've been layering on top of the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue, if I do want a little bit more coverage, is the Pure Minerals Cameo Contour Stick. I got this in the mail actually just a few days ago. They did send these to me, and I've been wearing it ever since. Uh, I, I kind of hated that I couldn't really get a ton of coverage out of my Complexion Rescue, and I couldn't really layer anything else on top of it. And then I just got these randomly in the mail, and I was like, what the heck, I might as well give it a try. And it actually layers really good. This isn't a heavy contouring product. The foundation side, it comes with a foundation side, uh, which would be like your foundation color, and then it comes with a dark contour side. I'm using the shade light, and the foundation side really isn't like full-on thick coverage. It has like a light to medium coverage to it, so I think that's why it layers really good with the Complexion Rescue. Uh, but yeah, this has been a really good lifesaver for me because sometimes I do want dimension in my face. I don't just, you know, want one product on. And this has been really good for me to layer. And I'm definitely going to keep using it because my skin is really showing no sign of improving. Uh, but yeah, this comes in, I think, six or seven different shades all the way up to the shade deep. And I've just been using the light one. I'll show you guys the color in case you're wondering. I'll just do a quick swatch. I think this color could honestly, you may not even be able to see it. I think this color could work for fair skin tones too. If you feel like you're in the fair range. Because it's a little light on me. But you do kind of want that highlighted look. And I love the contour side. It's a really pretty chestnut color. 
Um, some people may feel like that's a little too orange for them, but I have it on right now and I like it. I like the color. So I have really been enjoying layering this with my CR. This is definitely an oldie but a goodie and it's my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Gold Deposit. I have this on on top of my bronzer and my blush and throughout my face to give my skin a little bit more of a glow so it doesn't look so dry and dull. I just randomly was in my drawer one day trying to pick out a bronzer and I saw this in there and I was like, you know, I haven't used this in a while. And ever since I picked it up a couple weeks ago, I've been using it nonstop. I took it home with me for the uh, Thanksgiving holiday. And yeah, I really enjoyed using it for the days that I actually think I only wore like full on makeup one day. Um, and I did use it then. But I just love the rich color of this and how just luminous I don't know it's just like bam in your face you definitely only need a little bit but it is going to give you that like full-on glowing look um I don't think if you are super super fair that you would like this I feel like it could maybe oxidize and turn a little orange on you uh but if you're in the light to you know medium and on up I think this is just beautiful just like 20 karat gold beautiful I don't even know why I said that do you even know is there a 20 karat gold I don't know. I haven't really been wearing much eyeshadow this month either. This has just been one of those months that has been just really low-key chill. I've been wearing my Urban Decay Naked Basics palette, which is what I have on today. Um, I didn't really want to include that because it's just basic and you guys probably already own it. So the other shadows I've been wearing were actually sent to me by my friend Laura, Miss Lola Lynn. I'm sure a ton of you guys already watch her. She had some extra ColourPop shadow sets and she asked me if she could send those to me and I was like, uh, yes, yes please, you can. Um, and so we kind of just did like a little swap together and she sent me um, two collections. So I think these were uh, from back in the summertime and they may not be available anymore on the website, but I'm sure ColourPop has similar shades and the two that I really loved were this one called or was this one called snake bite which is just like a bronze golden color it's kind of similar to the uh, mac mineralized skin finish and gold deposit I think those two pair really nicely together and then also this is a really unique color it's called prickly pear and it's kind of like a duochrome purpley um I don't know purpley gray shade but it's got almost like a yellow or gold glitter in it. I have no clue, but I never use up my ColourPop shadows. I never really make dents in them, but this gold one, I don't know if you guys can see, I put a pretty big dent in it. Um, I'll swatch it so you guys can see it, but I love ColourPop. I am, this is like seriously the same color as the Gold Deposit. I seriously just put this where Gold Deposit was. Do you guys see that? This is gold deposit, literally in shadow form. Just realized that. It's probably why I like it so much. And this color right here is the Prickly Pear shade. I don't know. I really liked these. I thought that they, uh, I didn't wear them together, but I don't know. Something about the Prickly Pear shade was really unique to me. And then when I wanted just kind of like a classic bronze eye, I used the Snake Bite color. But I never put dents in my ColourPop shadows, and those two had really big dents in them, especially for just having them for less than a month. Um, so thank you, Laura. I still love these shadows. I told her, I was like, every time I use these shadows, I'm going to think of your face. And when I use them, I snap her. So yes, thank you, Laura. I love these. And if these are not available, I will try to link uh, colors that are similar down below. I know ColourPop definitely has to have one similar to this gold, though. This is pretty much the last thing I have to talk about, and it is the Kenra Platinum Working Spray number 14. This is my favorite hairspray of life. Ever since I tried Kenra hairspray like three years ago, it has been my go-to. I don't even know why I try to switch hairsprays. I love this stuff. The number 14 is a perfect balance between a like really firm hold and a really lightweight hold. It's somewhere right in the middle and that's why it's called working spray. If you spray a lot of it on your hair, it's gonna give you quite a bit of hold. Uh, but if you just do a quick spritz all over, it's going to give you that nice kind of tousled look. I just love Kenra hairsprays. I've tried everything from volume number 9, which is like their really lightweight spray, 
up to 25 which I think is their highest number which is a really really firm hold and I just love all their sprays but the number 14 working spray is definitely my favorite okay so I kind of have to rant about this really quickly because this just came out today and I don't know I just feel the need to get this off my chest but the Kylie Jenner lip kits launched today and I just cannot believe people are freaking out about those. They're $29 for a liquid lipstick and a lip liner, which isn't too bad, except for the fact that, I mean, her brand has no credibility. I mean, it's it's just now launched. So, I mean, $29 for a brand that, you know, you don't even know if it's going to be that good. You're basically just paying for her name. Um, I just had a rant about that because so many people were freaking out about it and I I looked at the shades and I was like, are you freaking serious? ColourPop has shades that can dupe every single one of the colors. NYX has shades that can dupe every single one of the colors that she's released. So I wanted to show you guys a few colors that I think are super similar to the ones that she's released. The first one, I think the color that she's calling um, Dolce K, I think is what it's called. Okay, that is literally identical to the NYX Whipped Caviar Lipstick, which I have raved about this color ever since I've had it. This is sold out a lot on Ulta's website, but I feel like it is a classic kind of Kylie color. This is almost identical to the one that she's calling Dolce K or whatever, I don't really know. Also one that's really similar to the Dolce K shade is the Kat Von D uh, liquid lipstick in the shade uh, Bow and Arrow and that's what it looks like. And then she has like one called True Brown. I don't have a color that's identical to that but I know ColourPop does. The darkest brown color I have in a ColourPop liquid lipstick is the shade Limbo which really isn't as dark as the one that she's released I don't think. But actually, you know what? I think that's pretty damn close. That is close, my friends. That is close. Okay, I would be willing to bet that this shade Limbo is literally identical to the True Brown color that she released. So yeah, the ColourPop Limbo, the Kat Von D, Bow and Arrow, and any of the NYX matte lipsticks that have like a pinkish brown hue, super similar. And they're all cheaper than the lip kits that she's offering. So if you guys wanted those and couldn't get them because I think they sold out or the website was down, these are three good recommendations that are way more affordable. I don't know. I guess I'm just, I just don't support. What is she famous for? I don't know. I'm just, I'm ranting right now. I need to stop. But for real, she gets credit for her makeup all the time. And I think it's the woman on Instagram styled by Harouche. I think she is literally does her makeup almost every single day. So it really kills me that she gets credit for her makeup. But the woman named Harouche does it. I'm almost 100% positive. So rant over. Those are the three colors. If you guys were interested in any of those, I would support these brands. I'm just being sour right now, aren't I? Okay, guys, so that was it for my November favorites. Let me know what you guys were loving uh, because I didn't have a ton of stuff to talk about. So I need to get back with the program. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions for me, feel free to leave them down below. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.